please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Tis the time, the walrus said, to speak of many things. Tis the time for trash or treasure to actually get on the open road. But not for long. What we've got to do is bed in the brake pads and the rotors. From all our internet research, doing either or is exactly the same. Starting at 30 miles an hour through to 50 miles an hour in a set sequence, irrespective of pads or rotors or the combination of both. There's very little bipolar debate on the topic. We contacted Vola, we haven't had a response yet, but that's primary our fault. Yeah, that's our fault for not giving enough lead time to get back to us whether they have any documentation on the process. So we'll follow, shall we say, the universally agreed way to do this. So as I break everything in, the other part I've got to watch for is, yeah, it goes to heat cycle, yes, the fan comes on, but now we've actually got to go ride it. So while I'll be paying attention to the braking and pad procedure with the rotors, I'm also going to pay attention to the rest of the bike and see what it's doing and behaving. 30 miles an hour, light braking, bring it down and then let it go. Do it again. And another one. Light pressure. Okay, so at that point, we have 10 more to go. And in doing that, we'll get that done. Then we've got to go to 40 miles an hour. pressure go again a little more pressure it's still sustained steady pressure one more example then we're going to repeat that 10 times Now let's go to 50 miles an hour, more pressure, but same place, don't increase pressure, hold the same pressure, 50, it's just slightly more pressure, but keeping the actual position to the grip, the same. So at that point, we'll go ahead, turn around, continue, and finish the braking for the front and the rear rotor. And once that's done, we've got the material we want finished, and we're ready to go.